Greetings, and welcome back to Banished, episode number six. Lots have been going on in the, uh, the, the Mega Mod world. There was recently a new update, and so we are actually playing on it. If we hop over to the details, you can see we are on Mega Mod version 0.06. It looked like some stuff got added, some stuff got updated. Um, yeah, here's here's the giant list. I'm not totally sure what uh <laughs> what got updated, what got added, but uh, I guess we'll just have to play and find out, right? Uh, luckily, my save from uh, the last alpha version uh, seems to be working, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna be try to play this version to to check out even more new stuff. Um, so last time there was this trader who came, uh, raspberries, and at first I thought I was going to trade with him, but now, uh, we're doing fine on food, so I just, uh, I just went in and, uh, selected some stuff for a custom order here, and we will do this custom order for every visit, and we'll just send this trader on his way, dismissing him. So, the other thing is, is it's late winter here now, and, uh, the, uh, the crops. It looks like we're doing fine on weed here, but I'm wondering, I'm wondering when our dense orchard, um, I think I'm going to assign somebody to it. Well, we don't have any laborers right now. But let's go ahead and enable work again. And so if we do, um, if we do get a laborer, I really want to assign someone to this orchard because it's looking a little, uh, it seems like it should be getting to the point where it would be fruiting. Because what, we're in winter three, so it's been almost three years here an idea. Alright, let's get our stuff back in order. Forming slope, and then our lodge. So yeah, let's just pop our, let's pop our orchard over here. And it auto-saves. So let's see what else is going on in the city. It's been a while since I've played. Um, so our mini school is filled up here. Oh! We, we got a laborer now. We got a laborer. So let's assign a laborer to be a farmer. There we go. Oh, look. Yeah. So we are yielding some plums here. So it's a, it's a good thing I uh, checked that out. Um, so the mini school here is full. Which is problematic because we, uh, we do need people to get educated. But at the same time, I'm so short on laborers right now that uh, I'm not sure if I can do anything about it. Um, yeah, if we get another laborer, then we could build another school, but I guess we could scope out the schools and where we might want a new one. Um, of course, I'm not sure if I'm gonna even keep this one since it's like so tiny. Uh, we have so few people, if I'm only assigning like a teacher, then it may not be worth it to keep that, the tiny school. So school buildings, so we got the mini school, that's what we use. Uh, this is the banished schoolhouse, I believe. Village school, that's kind of like a log cabin. I wish this would show me how many students, oh, they do. So this village school can do 12, this one can do 25, but I don't have lumber, so I can't do that one. Colonial school. Ooh, this one looks really cool. But it doesn't show me how many. <laughs> uh, medieval school. That looks like a urban city type school. Uh, college. Probably don't want that. Small town school. Or Nordic school. Oh, I like this Nordic school. Just like a big old house. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the colonial. I think this one fits. 
the theme I've got going on here the best. So let's just say here. This looks like a good spot. And even though we don't have anyone building, I think they should go and put the resources over there. Like, people who aren't doing anything. Um, yeah, there we go. we we'll remove the trees and everything. So we got going that going on. Oh, we need iron. Oh, we got plenty of iron over here. We just got to command people to go take it. That's not what I want. I want removal, and then I want... Not stone, but iron ore. Yeah, we got tons of iron right here. Let's take it all. All right, so we got that going on. Our dense orchard is uh, looking good here. Very good indeed. Let's go ahead and turn uh, pickup off. Yeah, since we only have one one person working the, the fields here. I don't want them to get bogged down with uh, trying to walk all the, the food back. Oh, nice. So we're hitting some uh, of our limits up here for the wood and the blacksmith and tailor. So that's good because all those people will come help out. Um, Early summer, yield at 90%. So yeah, we're gonna have 100% yield on the, the plums here. This will be good. People really like food diversity in this game. So having a fruit now, because now that this is uh, harvesting, it should harvest every year, unless it gets like a disease or something. So. All the stored iron going into the... It's not. His inventory is not full or anything. I don't know where it all went, though. Cause I'm... We just mined the iron, and it still says we have zero. Oh, maybe they had to use it for something. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. So yeah, we're harvesting the plums here. People are picking them up. Things are looking good. Um, so yeah, here's the test. We have some iron right here too. So let's let's take that and watch what happens to it. So that lady just put it, yeah, 109 iron ore. Huh, oh, that's, so iron ore and iron are different things. Duh. <laughs> but to make iron tools, this is what I don't understand. Just takes regular iron? We definitely were making tools before. So something happened. Maybe between these updates, uh, maybe they change it so you gotta change iron ore into iron now. All right. Regardless, uh, let's finish this harvest, and then we can make this farmer go do other stuff. So these plums appear to be gaining again. 
Which is really weird because it's early autumn and uh, these are gonna like die or whatever. It's gonna get too cold. Strange stuff. I wonder if there can be a double harvest. Cause the harvest button's not there. Makes me wonder. Hopefully we're not like totally in some glitched out world now and <laughs> playing the updated version on our previous save. Yeah. Oh, regardless, uh, I guess we can't harvest it, so. I'm gonna take that person off and make them be a builder to build the school. The blacksmith, though, doesn't even say. It just says the limit for this resource has been reached. It's true. I don't know. <laughs> Our new school is being built. Hooray. I'm hoping this will be like a seamless transition. Like, turning off this mini school... I just hope it doesn't mess up everything. Speed it up a little bit more. Oh, and of course, I miss more laborers. I need to be watching my event log more. I'm so focused looking up here. Um, well, so it's winter anyway, so uh, what I can do is just add another teacher and uh, not even worry about uh, switching this school over quite yet. And then I think we're going to need some more housing. Seems like... Uh, we need a population boom. All right, so, oh yeah, look, now we got two laborers and two builders, so that's, we are adding them up. So there we go, add another worker to the school, and then uh, let's check out our housing options. Let's see if there's anything new in here that catches our eye. Uh, tent with fire, we already did that one. Tiny shack, log cabin, small townhouse. This one looks new. A small house with the same cost, the same number as the wood house. Okay. Forest house. I remember that one. Wood house. That's from Banish. Farmhouse. I believe we built one of those right there. Yep, we did. These farmhouses, I like it. They can hold a lot of people. Uh, salt box, stone, adobe, Boston house. Oh, wow. And it's all wood? Every citizen would love to live in a, a colorful Boston house. Costs 84 wood. It's a little expensive on the wood side. Little house. I like that one. A little house. Used for housing your citizens. Little house second floor. Oh, so this is like a modular? Like, is there a bottom and a top? Or? Not sure. Country, large residence. This is all just getting too expensive. I think we're gonna go with uh, let's try one of these uh, small townhouses. Um, and let's see, where do we want to build it? Maybe you have a house. Let's check out the radius of our market. All right, so in theory, this is the radius where we want to put all of our houses right now. Yeah, let's just put one, another one right here. Why not? There it is, small townhouse. There 
There we go. Yeah, sorry, Dense Orchard is climbing and yield again. Maybe plums have something going on that I don't know about. Like they do extremely well in cold environments. Because <laughs> I've just never had a crop that grew so much when it was so cold outside. Ah, whatever. Building our houses, our new homes here. I like the, the frames of these a lot, actually. go and we've got new residents already perfect let's see how no, no one in the school yet oh only two students here maybe it'll go down to none who knows and then we can close it and we won't have any gap whatsoever um, so yeah I like those houses I think Farmhouses have different, uh, no, I don't think they have any different, so some of these have different, like, patterns. Uh, but yeah, let's do another farmhouse at the end of this. Let's rotate it. There we go. Build that there. Yeah, that's all stockpile. So now we are at 49 tools. Oh yeah, and it's saying the materials required to perform this are not available. So we're gonna have to build a, like a smelt, a smelting area to smelt that iron. So that probably would be a refined product, refined resources, and then wood workshop. No, not workshop. Fire yard. Oh, that's different than uh, the chopper. So where? Fabrics, crafting. Here we go. Smithing. Old blacksmith. Just create new tools. Small iron smelter. A small iron smelter only produces iron by taking iron ore. Iron or furnace fuel. Only one worker can work here. I don't have any furnace fuel though. So now we need metal smith, but that requires So what about furnace fuel? <laughs> I remember furnace fuel, but I don't quite remember uh So that's like to create coal stacks burner. So that needs lumber too though. Fuel refinery. Fuel refinery takes burnable natural resources and convert them into a hotter, more desirable form of industry smelters. Makes furnace fuel. Only one worker can work here. All right, so this is what we need first because we need furnace fuel. So, yeah, let's just put it here. There we go. Get to building that stuff. And, you know, it is already that time. The end of the episode. Thanks so much for watching. Uh... I will be recording more Banish coming up soon, so please uh, leave a like or a subscribe if uh, if you are enjoying this and you want to you want to uh, see some more of it. But until next time, I will see you later.